continuing our sessions on clarifying confusing concepts we would be coming on to the next concept that is gulf and bay often you have heard of but often confused what's actual difference between the two so bay is smaller now how would you remember it bay is smaller than gulf a simple way to remember is bay of bengal it appears so big and it's an exception so don't get confused here don't consider an example of bay of bengal to remember bays bays are usually smaller than gulf the first point to remember so the bays are smaller as you can see in the two diagrams bays are smaller as compared to gulf gulf are usually more indented as compared to bay bay are less indented they have direct structures that are seen the next important difference that you can see in a gulf and a bay here is bay has a larger opening gulf has a smaller or a narrow entrance that is seen another major difference is in the gulf you have water that deeply erodes the land and therefore it is more in depth and it is enclosed by the land so as you can see on three sides you have land that is seen at a gulf however bay is usually not enclosed by a land and it's just a kind of uh, um, uh, inward extension that you could see so a inward land curve is seen it's usually circular or semi circular in shape examples of bay as we said bay of bengal but when it comes to size it's much much bigger so don't get confused there bay of bengal is an exception bay of biscay is another good example when we come to gulf gulf of mexico is a classic example that you are familiar with so that was a major difference between bay and gulf we would be covering many more interesting differences so stay tuned for further updates have a wonderful day ahead